Hey everybody, Josh Madikor here. I help people break into IT and cybersecurity. That's what my channel is all about. So if you're interested in that, please consider subscribing. In today's video, I'm just going to be answering this viewer's question. I think it's a really good one and I think it will resonate with a lot of people. So I'll just hop right into it. Um, basically, he says, uh, what would you say the chances are of someone without a formal education to break into cybersecurity? Would it be worth getting a formal two-year degree at a community college or spend that time trying to build work experience and training for cybersecurity? I have zero experience as I'm coming from machine operations and manufacturing, so I'm looking to make a complete 180. I'm sure there are pros and cons. Uh, just looking for your take on a legitimate path for someone with basically zero education or professional experience to jump in. Thanks so much. So for sure, this is like my question, uh, something that I would normally answer. So I'll just like hop right into answering it. Um, but before that, definitely check out these free practice questions me and my team built. We have A plus, Network plus, Security plus, a bunch of CompTIAs, ITIL, CISSP, complete with answer explanations, as well as a page number for the corresponding book for each practice exam. These are completely free. You can just click the link and start practicing them. So getting right into answering the question, um, I'll just answer his question chunk by chunk. Um, would it be worth getting a formal two-year degree at a community college or spend that time trying to build experience and training in computer science or uh, cybersecurity? First, I wanna say it depends on like what you wanna do. I don't wanna completely write off community college because I went to community college uh, for a few years and I had a really good experience with, with that and I met a lot of people and I'm just like, who I am today because of my community college experience. So I don't want to tell people like, don't go to community college because um, it's not the most optimal path when you're trying to break into cybersecurity, especially or IT. It's simply not the best path if that's all you care about. But if you want to meet like a bunch of people and kind of have a, an easy, like fun time and like hang out, um, it, community college is, is really, really good. So just stop and like ask yourself like, what is more important to you. If you just want to break into the field right away, like I don't recommend community college, like just keep listening to what I'm saying. But if you want to meet people and, you know, just kind of have fun, you can you can do community college or you can do both, right? You can go to community college, have fun, and then you can do um, the stuff that I'm about to talk about on top of community college and you can kind of get the best of both worlds. It just depends on like the time and money and like what you personally like feel like doing right. So what I would do, like the fastest way to break into cybersecurity, in my opinion, um, definitely like look at this employability framework as I'm talking about this. I kind of came up with this as a good way to um, convey the idea of like how it is to break into cybersecurity or IT or most fields, to be honest. Like everything really boils down to like getting an interview and passing an interview. And these are kind of the areas that you can address to help with those stages. So to, to get an interview, Basically, all it needs, for the most part, you need a, a good resume, right? And, and what makes a good resume? Education, certifications, portfolio, experience, um, written communication. It's basically free, right? Education, um, in terms of formal education, is expensive and it takes a lot of time, right? So if you don't want to do that, um, it's okay. But if you're missing something, you have to make up for it in some like some other capacity, right? So. For education, if you don't have like any, I would recommend um, at least go like look up MITx like cybersecurity classes and just take like a single free class from there and put it on your resume if you don't have anything at all. Because having at least that like easy thing on your resume, it's easier and like better than having nothing at all, right? And in terms of like certifications, um, if you're if you're brand new, like to be honest, like having a certification that um, HR knows about will help you a lot, uh, especially like you need to like learn the fundamentals. So if you're if you're okay with spending like you know four hundred and four dollars, you can go ahead and get Security Plus, and that will give you those fundamental knowledge, and it will put something on your resume that um, HR can you know recognize or whatever. If you don't have like four hundred and four dollars and you don't want to spend that, to be honest, you can just um, get the Google Cybersecurity certification. That thing is like. $49 per month and like the first seven days are free. And as far as like actual education and like cybersecurity theory, it's actually much better than Security Plus. So you could get those Google cybersecurity certification, just take your time and go through that and absorb it and then put it on your resume like after you got it. And then you can put in like under the Google cybersecurity, whatever certification you can put um, like CompTIA Security Plus like in progress. And at least that CompTIA Security Plus will match keywords for like ATS if somebody's scanning your resume at least it will pick it up for that and it's the next best thing to at least have it on your resume versus having you know gone and spend the 404 dollars to get it 
Um, I would also like do some projects, right? Again, I don't want to sell my course, but I made my course for people like trying to actually break into cybersecurity. Um, I specifically made it for people who have like some cybersecurity foundation. So like after you go through like Google cybersecurity program or company security plus, if you do my course, basically the course, um, it's just really heavy in security operations. We build a security operations center, what's called a security operations center or SOC in the cloud. And we um, monitor and we, we get like live attack traffic from the internet because we have some virtual machines and other resources and they're intentionally exposed to the internet. And subsequently they get attacked from bad actors and bots and then we practice incident response and like log aggregation and like all of this stuff. And it's a really good lab if you're new. Um, I would recommend if you do the course, do that section like four or five times and then make a portfolio out of it, which is also part of the employability framework. And this can kind of serve uh, as experience as well. And you don't have to take the course. You don't have to spend any money. You can do this stuff on your own, but it just, it, it's hard to like come up with like the idea of how to do it if you're like brand new. And the course, that's where the course comes in. It just kind of helps you like save time and money. Um, not to mention there's an internship component in the course where you can get actual like experience like on your resume from my actual like, legit company. Um, if you don't go through the course, you don't have money for that. You can always make your own experience by creating like cybersecurity centric content and like posting on Indeed and just generally getting an online presence for yourself. So if you're if you're brand new, that's essentially what I'd recommend. Make sure you have those like security foundations um, down from Google Cybersecurity or Security Plus or something absolutely free like uh, Professor Messer. Just get the security foundation like before anything because you can't anyway. You can't do anything without that really. And then once you have the foundation, like pick out some good projects that you can do, like cybersecurity projects. And don't do like, you know, 50 different projects. Do like one or two projects, like many, many, many times and make sure they're good. Project in my course is it's quite good. So if you can find something like that or emulate it for free, because what I do in my course is like, it's like public knowledge, right? Um, you can emulate that for free a bunch of times and just make a strong resume, like use this resume. I'll put a link to it in the description. Basically, you can retrofit the resume um, to fit yourself, essentially, if that makes sense. And then just start when, you, when you're ready and you have that foundation and everything in your portfolio, then um, I recommend just start applying to both IT and cybersecurity jobs. And I have a bunch of uh, videos on my channel that talks about how to actually go about searching for jobs. But in, in my course, um, I talk about like what you should do. There's like a whole like employment section, like after we go through the lab, I, I recommend you, after you like have everything and you're like kind of strong and your resume is good, um, create profiles on like Indeed and ZipRecruiter and LinkedIn and Monster and Dice and just make sure your profile is as good as it can possibly be. And then take your time like applying to, um, do like smart applications to jobs. I don't wanna make this video like super long, but there's a few videos on my channel where I talk about how to find like cybersecurity jobs that other people probably aren't applying to. Like you can search some obscure keyword, for example, if you go to Indeed and type 8140, for example, some DOD jobs will come out or 8570, or you search for like IAT, like these kind of obscure cybersecurity keywords you'll find jobs that like it's possible other people aren't even like thinking to search for. So um, just make yourself strong, good resume, good portfolio, make you know, an online presence, right? Fill out all of those profiles to everything and then just start applying. Again, I don't wanna completely write off, you know, community college and uh, especially like, to be honest, I forgot to mention, WGU makes cybersecurity, well, any degree, like really, really, really accessible, like more than like, you know, 10 years ago. Um, you can you can kind of get away if you prepare properly. I made this video talking about how to do it. I include strategy for like every single class. You can you can get away with getting a, a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity in a year or less if you plan for it properly and like do everything and execute well. You can get a, a degree for relatively cheap in a relatively short amount of time, but um, it's definitely not necessary. Like if you look at the employability for American no degree, just make up for it with a good portfolio, like a really strong resume manufacture some experience for yourself and you're, you're going to be good to go. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, my course helps a lot, but I don't want to like, I'm not trying to be like, you can't get a job unless you get my course. I just packaged everything up really, really nicely. I just wanna reiterate the fact that you can do everything on your own for free, essentially. It just might take you longer to like piece together all the necessary things. So yeah, I hope this helps. Uh, good for you for, for wanting to change your career and like make a better future for yourself. Just if you, 
you're worried and you feel overwhelmed, just do things like one step at a time. You can't do anything really without a good cybersecurity foundation. So just focus on that first and then maybe come back and watch this video again afterwards um, to get good security foundation, 100% freeway. Again, Professor Messer, almost freeway is a Google cybersecurity program. And then, you know, of course there's security plus, but that costs money, but yeah, hope this helps. Uh, and yeah, see you in the next video. Thank you.